A contaminated Superfund site in the heart of Billings could see help from the federal government in the next few years. First discovered in 1991, two Billings laundromats were leaking toxic chemicals into the groundwater for years. The state has run out of money for cleanup, but new action from the Billings City Council could bring more money for remediation of the 855-acre site. Q2's Mitch Laggy is standing by now in the newsroom with more on the council decision to ask for help from the feds. Mitch? Well, Zoe, council members tonight gave the thumbs up to the governor's office, telling it to send a letter to the Environmental Protection Agency, asking the Billings Superfund site to be placed on the national priorities list. Now, if the Billings site is placed on the list, that means the EPA takes control of the site, bringing federal dollars in to help residents with cleanup. The toxic chemicals we're talking about have, sh have the shortened names of PCE and TCE. The chemicals have contaminated the groundwater and leak into homes as a gas through foundation cracks and dirt floor basements. City staff say it would take one to two years for the EPA to begin any work, but because of the site's large size and the fact that the contamination is constantly moving within the groundwater, the cleanup could never end. It would be an ongoing, as far as I, my understanding, it would be an ongoing because it, it will always have it in the ground. Um, the soil is contaminated, you would have to dig up and remove the whole 855 acres to really get at it. So it would be an ongoing, they would stay with us indefinitely. And the state has indicated that they're looking to send that letter to the EPA at some point in December. Zoe? All right, thanks, Mitch.